Hey everyone, so we have another SAT math problem. See if you can solve this one by yourself. And yeah, let's get right into the problem. So it says, in the figure shown, points Q, R, S, and T lie on the line segment PV, and the line segment RU intersects line segment SX at point W. The measure of angle, so I want to mark this down, of angle S, Q, X is 48 degrees. So let's write 48 there. Okay. And the measure of angle S, XQ is 86 degrees. So that's right, 86 there. Okay. The measure of SWU is 85 degrees. So that's right, 85 there. Boom. And the measure of VTU is 162 degrees. And the problem says, what is the measure in degrees of angle TUR? So this is the angle we're trying to find. So let's see. So they gave us a bunch of angle measures, and now we just have to implement theorems that we know in order to find um, those missing angle measures. So the first thing I want to point out here is that we have two angles on a straight line, right? Um, so we have angle VTU, which we know is 162 degrees, and this angle UTS. So this angle right here would just be 180 minus 162. All right. So 180 minus 162 is just 18 degrees. So we know that this angle right here has to be 18 degrees. And so why did I find that angle? Well, because in order to find angle TUR, I want to highlight this, um, what we can do is actually just find two of the angles in this triangle. Because we know there's 180 degrees in the triangle, so if we find this angle, the one we just found, the 18 degrees, oops, switch. If we find this angle, and we also find, let's say, this angle in the corner, then we can just do some math to find the missing angle. So is there a way to find angle TRU? Hmm. Well, it is a part of another triangle, right, over here. And so now we really have to think, hmm, what can we do? So first off, we have this 85 degree angle here, and we have a very straightforward um, vertical angles theorem here. So this angle right here, which is across from the 85 degrees, that is also 85 degrees. And now another thing I want to note out is that this that this uh, quadrilateral QRWX has four sides, right? And it's a closed shape. So because of that, and I just want to highlight this, this will have 360 degrees, right? And so what we've just done is we found three of the angle measures. So we found 85 degrees, and then we found, but well, we didn't really find this, they gave it to us, 86 degrees, and they also gave us that 48 degrees. And so now if you want to find this angle in the corner right here, angle QRW, we just have to subtract 360 minus all those other angles. And so that gets us 141 degrees. Now, what does that really help us find? Well, first off, it's getting a little uh, messy over here, so I'm just going to erase a bunch of this. So now we've found that this angle right here is 141 degrees, right? And again, that we have two angles on a straight line. So that has to equivalent to 180 degrees. So what is this angle right here? Well, that's just 180 minus 141. And 180 minus 141 is just 39 degrees. And so if we find this angle TRU, we now have two missing angles. We found the two missing angles of the triangle that we initially wanted to find, which was this one right here, right? So we know that because a uh, triangle has 180 degrees, then we just found the 39 degrees in this corner right here, 39. And we already found this one from the other um, calculation we did of 18 degrees for this angle. So we can just add these together, subtract it from 180, and we get 123 degrees. Yeah, that is our final answer for the measure of angle TUR.